Yes, we're joined from Sydney by Leonard Petro. He's a visiting fellow at the Australian National University. Good to speak to you. So do you think there's any reason behind the timing of the latest test? Well, it's an interesting question because we know that um, the North Koreans are going to celebrate the 75th anniversary of uh, the current leader's father, late father Kim Jong-il. Uh, just in three days, uh, they're going to be uh, some festivities and potentially this launch could be um, dedicated to um, this pageant. But it was uh, fully in the power of uh, Pyongyang leadership to delay or cancel this launch. And I believe that um, indeed it's uh, something more than that. And the visit of uh, Prime Minister Abe uh, to the United States um, is probably the uh, good explanation. But further to that, I think that uh, no sooner um, than the President Trump announced that the one China policy is going to be observed by the United States, uh, that uh, North Korea decided to go ahead with this launch, which they promised uh, Kim Jong un, the leader of North Korea, in his New Year's address, uh, uh, had said that the um, everything is prepared uh, for the intercontinental ballistic missile launch, which potentially may uh, deliver the uh, nuclear payload to the uh, U.S. mainland. And the president, uh, at that time, president-elect um, announced that it would never happen. So it did happen, and uh, potentially the uh, launch, which was uh, aimed uh, to the east, to the um, Pacific uh, Ocean. Potentially the message was, uh, was going actually to Beijing, that uh, Beijing is uh, not going to approve this launch and the relationship between the United States and China uh, again may be endangered by Pyongyang's reckless behavior because uh, the launch of a rocket, and we know that it was a, um, uh, it was a medium range missile of a Rodong type, uh, is uh, something that can, can be potentially intercepted by the anti-missile defense system, the THAAD, uh, which the United States is now trying to um, locate in South Korea, and China is vehemently uh, opposing that. So the launch is actually sending the message to both uh, Washington and uh, Beijing that uh, Pyongyang needs to be taken seriously, that its program is alive and um, they are going to uh, pers pursue the policy of self-defense and the policy of parallel development, uh, not only economic but defense as well. So we know the U.S. has been thinking about deploying a missile defense system to South Korea. How do you think the North feels about that? The uh, North Koreans uh, understand that the uh, system is designed and aimed not just at North Korea, but uh, predominantly at China and uh, Russia as well. So North Korea is considered by both Moscow and Beijing as, as, as a watchdog in the regional security and stability. So whatever happens in, in Northeast Asia, Pyongyang is reacting or sometimes overreacting to that, and it actually plays uh, well in, um, in the policy of uh, Moscow and uh, Beijing in order to contain the United States from, uh, from, from the region. We know that the uh, relationship between Washington and Seoul and Tokyo um, have been strong throughout the last six decades after the Korean War. And uh, as long as uh, Pyongyang exists, as long as North Korea is posing some sort of threat, uh, even a symbolic threat um, to the uh, United States, which is just across the Pacific, uh, the relationship between South Korea, Japan and the United States is going to be strong. So the visit of Prime Minister of Japan in the United States is uh, going to be strengthened by this uh, launch. At the same time, um, I think that the United States um, and President Trump promised that um, he was going to sit down with Kim Jong-il and discuss the, um, the potential you know, regulation, new form so, sorry of to US, interrupt, but we North don't Korean have much time. Just want to get one more last question in. Or at least try to solve the problem. Um, North Korea keeps repeating these missile tests and the nuclear tests. So how advanced right. is its nuclear program?
Well, the program is in a fairly advanced way. The uh, nuclear material, uh, the fissile material which North Korea has extracted, is now measured by tons, the uh, uranium ore, or, or nearly a ton of uh, nearly 700, 800 kilograms of uranium. Uh, tens of dozens of tons of plutonium would per, per, permit Pyongyang to develop uh, dozens of nuclear bombs. And the ballistic missiles program is also in its, its very advanced stage. We can see it from this launch. So if not the United States, but the regional powers have to be concerned about this, and it's a clear violation of the non-proliferation agreement and the United Nations Security Council resolution. So at the bottom of the line, Pyongyang is violating all this. Thank you for joining us here on TRT World.